Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, in one of my other blog posts on my website, if you just go to my website and type in the search box hard return, you will find out how to create hard returns in your Excel worksheet cells so within the cell itself. But what if you wanted to go, uh, you've got a spreadsheet that has lots of hard returns in it, or you already, uh, you got maybe you got an import file uh, from another system that had hard returns within the cells, and you wanted to replace those and say, let's do a comma and a space instead of the hard return. So you want it on a list like this instead of a list like this. How do you do a find and replace for a hard return? Well, it's a little bit tricky, so I wanted to show you how to how to go about doing that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to highlight the range that you're going to replace. Uh, in this instance, we've only got one with hard returns in it, but I'm going to highlight an extra little bit of range. I'm going to then press Control F, and that brings up my Find and Replace box. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to go to the Replace tab. Now, you want to do Find What? This is where we want to do the hard return. And this is a little bit of the trick what you want to do is you want to hold down your alt key and then press in a 0, 1, 0. However, the trick is you cannot do it from your regular number uh, on numbers on the keyboard above your letters. You have to do it from a number pad. So I'm doing this from my laptop in a hotel room in Atlanta. And uh, so how to do that on a laptop? I see little numbers above my uh, J, K, and L, and M is the zero. You'll see little numbers on your keyboard like that if you don't actually have a formal number pad. And I'm going to hit those by uh, using the function key. So, uh, so I'm going to hold my Alt key down, I'm going to hit my function key, and then I'm going to type in 010, which is actually M, J, M. Now you can see just the hint of, you see something blinking just the left of my cursor. That's actually the cursor wrapping itself around a hard return, and that's how you kind of know that you've done it. Now, if your uh, version of Excel is not doing that, you can also try holding down the Alt key and then doing 013, which is the other code for a hard return. So now I can just type in what I want to replace it with in the Replace box. I'm going to do a comma and a space, and let's go ahead and do Replace All. It's made six replacements. And look at that, it has actually done what I wanted it to do. Monday, comma, space, Tuesday. That's how you go about doing a hard return. So remember the tricks to that. you got to hold your Alt key down and then use the number pad 010. On a laptop, I have to include my function key in there as well since I don't have a formal uh, keyboard. So uh, once again, this is Steve Equals True from Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit my blog for other great posts like this, and also don't forget to subscribe to my video channel so you can get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.